Hello everybody, today we're going to show you how to take your floor plan from HomeStyler and put it into SketchUp. So I'm going to use SketchUp 2019 and the current version of HomeStyler. I'll pull up my design in HomeStyler as you see. I'm going to go export as a DWG file. I'm going to choose the latest version, AutoCAD 2013, and I'm going to keep the units Imperial, which is feet in inches. Click on export and it's going to export this file. When it's done exporting, it's going to be at the bottom of the window in a zip file. When I show that file in the folder, I'm going to have to unzip it. So I right click on the zip file and I use 7-zip. Some people have different zip folder file formats, but if you have 7-zip, you go 7-zip extract to the same folder, and it's going to extract and place two files. This STB plot style table file we will not use. We'll be using this AutoCAD DWG file with the super long na file name, ending in DWG. Once it's exported and extracted, so you have the DWG file, then you will go to SketchUp. So you open up SketchUp, you go to File, import a brand new SketchUp is best and I'm going to import that uh, file that I just downloaded right here and it should be a, one of the supported files type. There are some options um, where you can change uh, units but I'm going to keep these all the same for right now and just hit import. When it imports it's going to be this giant drawing that we don't need all of it. We just need the floor plan. So I'm going to click on the giant drawing here and go to right click and hit explode. That explodes it into individual pieces. So now we have this piece and then we have this outer piece. So I'm going to select the outer piece and hit delete. So I just have the floor plan. And since I want to get closer to the origin, I'm going to use my move tool, select everything and move it here to the origin and my man is inside. It looks like it's the right size but it's always helpful to have the large tool set open and take a measurement and see if this is about the same size as your floor plan. Uh, 20 plus 15 should be about 35 feet and that's what I got. So now I know that um, it imported correctly. To make it in 3D, we're going to have to push pull it. Now, right now, it's just lines and not surfaces. So you will have to reconnect one of these lines and they will all turn into surfaces. If they don't, just reconnect a couple of the other lines and you should have it into surfaces. Use the push pull tool, click once on the surface, and then type in. 10 feet for every floor. I want a one story building so I'm just going to type in 10 feet and there it is and there's mark inside. Now I don't want these open doorways so I can just use the pencil tool and close off this doorway as you see um, and I don't care about the top because I'm going to add my roof later. Now, if you care about the interior, you can leave these interior walls. Or if you're just doing the exterior, you don't have to worry about the interior walls. But I will want to erase everything on the outside like this so I just get a nice clean look. And now I can add my doors and windows to my file. Thank you very much for watching.